Today on Fix My Oculus, we're going to talk about replacing the battery on a Quest Pro. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a repair on a Quest Pro. We don't do a whole lot of these just because there's not a whole lot of them out there. The Quest Pros weren't really popular units, especially not compared to things like the Quest 2 and the Quest 3. But just like any VR headset, they do run into issues and they do need to be fixed sometimes. The Quest Pro, as most of you know, is a standalone headset, which means that it has its own internal lithium ion battery. And again, just like any other standalone VR headset or really anything with a lithium ion battery, if you use it enough or you don't use it the right way, eventually you will run into issues with it, like not holding a charge properly or not even holding a charge at all. And that's where we're at with this unit. This unit was sent in to us because it doesn't really hold a charge. You can only really play on it when you're plugged in. And what's the fun of having a standalone VR headset if you can't play on it wirelessly, at least sometimes. Before we get into this repair, I want to throw it out there that if you guys do need replacement batteries for your Quest devices, whether that's the Quest Pro or a different headset, or if you really need this repair on your Quest Pro and you finish watching this video and you decide it's really not something that you want to take on by yourself. You can check out our website, fixmyoculus.com for repair services and parts. If this is your first time checking out the channel and you enjoy videos like this, leave us a, leave us a like and consider subscribing. It really helps us out, helps the channel grow. We're doing our best here to bring more information about VR repair and maintenance to all VR users and the wider our audience is, the more people we can tell. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started on this repair. You are going to need a screwdriver for this job. I am going to go over the bit sizes as we kind of go through this repair. I always recommend having a set tweezers on hand and a pry tool always comes in handy for putting things back together and taking them apart. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this pad here on the back and these just kind of pop out and you can just kind of pop it out on both sides. The worst thing about working on these Quest Pros in my opinion is that this head strap assembly doesn't come off. On other units you can just take the head strap off and get it out of the way so you can access other things and on this it's just kind of stuck on there because this strap is kind of part of the shell frame of the unit as well and none of this comes off easily it's like the last thing to come off on the headset when you're disassembling it anyway i do need to extend this head strap all the way out in order to access the two screws that are at the bottom here and then we'll go ahead and take our screwdriver and it's a double zero bit that i'm using for these two screws and we'll go ahead and pull both of these screws out These screws don't actually need to come all the way out, but they just still, you'll know when they're out because this will become free floating now. And then we can kind of tighten this back up just to kind of get it out of our way a little bit. And now we have access to five more screws. There's two on this side, two on this side, and then one in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and take off these four screws first. And this is still a Phillips double zero bit, by the way. These ones will come out all the way, so we'll just go ahead and take them all the way out. And then we have one more screw in the middle here. We'll go ahead and take that out next. Now that I've got all five screws out, we can go ahead and separate this plastic and we'll just use our pry tool, kind of get under from the back side and just pop these clips. And then we'll do the same thing on the underside. And now this battery compartment will just kind of separate away from the head strap. This cable is designed to seat in here in a very specific way. So make a note of which way it's facing and how it's seated before you decide to pull it up. Now that I've removed the cable from its position there, I can go ahead and take my Phillips double zero bit and take out these two screws on the sides. And then this plastic housing will just come up. And our battery is just free. Easy peasy. There's a little plastic clasp that sits on this connector here. We can just go ahead and take that off, set that off to the side. And then there's some tape here that kind of holds the battery in place. Once I've taken that tape off, we can just go ahead and unplug our old battery. And plug in, and plug in our new battery. We'll go ahead and put our tape back in place here. If you lose the original tape or destroy it in the process of taking it off, Kapton tape will work. And then we'll go ahead and put our little battery clip back on there. 
We'll go ahead and place this battery back in this compartment and line it up with the stud there. And then we'll put the top of this back on and it just kind of clips in place. Now I can go ahead and take my screws and we'll screw this back in place. Then we need to run our cable back through these clips and make sure that that's seated all the way in there and it's flush inside of the groove because otherwise it won't sit right. Then we'll go ahead and seat that cable back in place and the rubber stopper there should prevent it from moving. Now that I've got everything put back together, I can go ahead and seat this back into the head strap. And we're just gonna line it up as best as we can and then try to clip something in. Well, there's a clip. And these clips should all just kind of fall into place. If you're forcing them too much, it's probably not lined up right. And you might just need to realign it. Cool, and that is looking pretty good. Now we'll go ahead and put our five screws back in place and I'll just kind of go in reverse order here. I'll start with the middle one and then we'll do these four in the corners. I've got the battery housing all screwed back together. So we're gonna go ahead and extend this part of the strap all the way until it meets that. And then once those two are seated pretty flush, we'll go ahead and start screwing our screws back in. We don't really mess with the strap extension mechanism in this process, but I'll go ahead and test it out, make sure that everything works anyway. And that looks pretty good to me. And then finally, we're gonna clip this head strap pad back in. And that's ready to go. So if your Quest Pro is running out of juice particularly quickly, or it's not charging up like it used to, you are now equipped with all of the knowledge you need to replace the battery and get it going again. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give me a like and consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel and helps me get the word out about VR repair and maintenance. If you need a replacement Quest Pro battery or tools for your repair, you can get those on our website. And if you're looking to have the service done for you, you can do that on our website as well. Plus we have a lot of other parts for the Quest Pro, Quest Pro controllers, Quest 2, Quest 3, Quest 3S, you name it. And we've recently started doing t-shirts. So if you've been into VR for a long time and you just feel like there's no good VR related t-shirts or merchandise out there, check out our store. But this repair is complete and this Quest Pro is ready to go back home to its owner. So we will see you on the next one.